Greetings, everybody. Welcome. Hello. I'm going to give everybody some FaceTime. So, well, uh, it's Wednesday. It's uh, 1 o'clock. So I think I told somebody yesterday this was happening at 2 o'clock because I had forgotten what time I had changed it to. But anyway, welcome. It's going to be very, very short. I know I've been missing in action on as far as posting new videos so what I'm saying is I'm going to be announcing, I am going to be taking a little break until January. In fact, the next live will be at the end of January so that I can get myself together and get some new videos together and get them up. So uh, welcome. Right now, what we're going to do today is, uh, let me just see who's here. Let's everybody, let's give everybody some FaceTime. There's Courtney. Hello, Courtney. <laughs> welcome. And we have Inherited Stitches. Inherited Stitches in the house. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you, everybody, for taking time out of your busy day. And here is Professor Failure, who I, I love to say that I had a hard time calling him Professor Failure because I didn't want to call him Professor anybody Failure. But uh, I see what his point is. He has uh, some great, uh, very short uh and concise videos that tell the stories of, of different of, about history on a topic in history in um, our country and the world. So, Professor Failure, and then welcome, hello, Carsonia, uh, Carsonia, Carsonia. I hope I'm saying that right. Welcome, and let me see. Let me make everybody just a little bit bigger. Let's see. We can make everybody just a little bit there okay <laughs> so welcome so glad to have you here today and Courtney is saying she's making a blippy doll blip okay so I don't I'm not sure what that is <laughs> but she's making one but then Courtney is always making something I always say she doesn't sleep so he inherited stitches is over here I always say Courtney doesn't sleep because she's always making something. Her and Miss Betty, I don't know when they sleep. Inherited Stitches, thank you. And we have Lala's Crafts, Phyllis. Hello, Phyllis. Thank you for being here for the first time. I welcome you. And then, uh, like I said, you can call me Andrew. Okay, Professor, I forgot about that. Professor Failure is saying I can call him Andrew. I don't know if y'all can, but he said I could. So, <laughs> hello, welcome, Andrew. And let's see. Hi, thanks for your great videos. Well, you are very welcome. I am so happy that when people find them helpful, that makes me happy. Uh, and let's see. And Sawang so Blossoms. Uh, everyone needs a break. I hope that you get to relax and re-energize yourself. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm hoping that I get to re-energize myself too. Um, Benita, hello. It's so great to see you. Well, thank you. And Courtney says, it's a character. Say, I'm not hip to the, these new characters from books, from the latest books, the movies, especially the movies, the cartoon characters, or just real characters. I'm not really, re I'm not really, um, wow, I can't name the last time I actually even went to the movies to see a movie. I don't even know when that was. So, I, I don't know who a lot of these characters are. I keep up with a few things because of my grandchildren, but they're still small. So their characters, they're only six and what? Well, no, they, said they would get mad. Yeah, six and eight. So the characters that they know are not, they're very, you know, young characters. Okay. Um, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go right into um, the shares and we'll come back to get any comments later. But I'm going to go to the shares. And these are shares uh, for people who are new. These are things that people on the channel sent in to share what they're working on or what they have made. And it doesn't have to be loom knitting. It can be any craft that they're working on because we have crafters on the channel who do numerous things. They're just all over the place. And so we we share whatever it is they're doing. And the first thing I'm going to share is I'm going to share something from 
Betty, I don't know if Betty's here. Betty is the person I told that live was going to be at two o'clock. So I don't know <laughs> if she's here or not, but she'll catch the replay. So what well, the first thing I'm going to show you is, well, let me back up. I'm going to tell the story from the beginning. Let me, let me get um, Lala's crest. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna get back to the to the comments in just a minute. When I first started my channel, near the beginning of my channel, I was doing a lot of various crafts and I got the loom knitting and the loom knitting is what was attracting people to the channel because I had just taught myself to loom knit and I had a hard time learning how to do it and I realized that it was being made more complicated than it was. So I decided I wanted to do a video that I wish I had found when I was trying to learn how to loom knit. And so I did my first beginner's loom knitting video. And then I kept doing, as I was learning, I was taking the time to do the videos for that. And so people started coming for the loom knitting videos and I'm very happy for that. In the meantime, there was a, a person, a lady, uh, um, up um, named Norada, Norada, and she sent me a gift, and the gift that she sent me was a package on how to do. It was diamond painting, which I had never heard of before. But she sent me the package. In fact, she sent me a few things. She sent me a lot of diamond painting packages. Now I'm gonna show for those of you who don't know, cause I didn't know, I'm gonna see if I can start back where she first started sending me. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm talking about diamond painting. Now let's see, uh, is this her? Nope, that's Courtney coming up later. Okay, so Nareda sent me this. This is one, she sent me several beautiful things she was either had finished or was working on. So this is diamond painting. And for those of you who don't know, it's like a paint by numbers, only it's very tiny squares. And then you take little diamonds, literally, well, they're crystals, and you color in according to the number and you can just do some fabulous things. Here's a Christmas tree she that Noreta did. And here's something else that I just think is beautiful that Noreta did. Okay, now, now what I'm gonna show you is I took some screenshots from Rebecca Crafting Journey because she also does the diamond painting a lot. And so in fact, I'm going to recommend, in fact, okay, so here, let me get this, um, this thing is covering up too much, this overlay. So let me, okay. So here, I hope that Rebecca doesn't mind. I took the screenshot. So this shows her, her, so-called diamonds, again, they're crystals, and how she lays them out to do uh, her diamond painting. She has all of her equipment laid out here for diamond painting. And here is, she's working on a, pa a painting right here, okay? So that's what she's doing. Now, I said all that to say because a couple of people on the channel it seems that they've become interested in diamond painting, okay? So uh, what I want to do is I want to say uh, to really get into the diamond painting, you might want to visit Crafting Journey, Rebecca. She was one of the first guests I had on this channel. Her channel is called Crafting Journey, and her name is Rebecca, and she does uh, the diamond painting. Now... Yeah, I don't know if she's going to come on or not because I also I also feel like she's an affiliate for a company that sells diamond paintings. But anyway, I'm going to recommend that if you really enjoy, and I enjoy it, here's the thing, and I feel bad because people were gifting me some beautiful diamond painting um, pieces. I don't have the space to set it up and leave it out. As you notice, like, let's see, where was Rebecca? Okay, so... As you notice here and like here, you have to have a space to leave your things out, to put your diamond painting out and leave it. Okay, so I started diamond painting and then I would have to pack it up every day because I needed that space for something else. So I, I feel bad in that people were gifting me such wonderful things and I never finished one. That is something that I'm hoping to do during my break is finish 
finish my first diamond painting, but I enjoyed it and I found it very relaxing. Now, so that brings me back to what this is right here. So I was telling this to Betty and I said, Betty, I don't have a place to put my painting, to put the diamond painting out so I can work on it. And so she told me that she had gotten this table. It's a very lightweight little table. And she said it, she can put it on her bed and she just puts her things out on that. And that's something to work on. So I told her that was an excellent idea. And I really am going to look into uh, this type of table so that I can leave it up somewhere and not have to re take down remove all my crystals off the table and roll up my, my diamond painting. So that's what that is. And she said, so she puts a towel on it and she has a magnifying glass because the crystals can be very tiny, but it is a relaxing craft. And so here she, this is one a painting that she's working on and she's showing me all of her tools that she has to do the diamond painting. So I don't know how many of you do diamond painting or not, but this, and then she was showing me the case she has to keep her crystals in and how she carry, keep, carries her crystals about. And then this is a diamond painting that she just got that she's going to be working on. And then here is one that she finished. The picture doesn't do it justice, but it's a beautiful cross. And of course it says, I can do all things through Christ who let me move this up. Who strengthens me? So this is uh, her. So that's why I wanted to go back and talk about the um, the diamond painting. So some of you I know already have told me that you have an interest in it. I know Courtney was telling me she was diamond painting for a while too. And I'm going to send you to Rebecca's channel and look at some of her old videos about diamond painting. And yeah, I don't have any on my channel because I don't have that space to really do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to finish one. And I thank Nareda for sending me such lovely gifts. And, I, and I'm also going to check to see if Rebecca and is as an affiliate. I think she was affiliated with some company. And if she is, then I would love to give you that link so that you can do that too. Okay. So now we're going to go down to, let's see, let's start with these are in no particular order. This is Courtney. This is what Courtney's been working on. She is making squares of different characters. And her the idea is to sew all of these squares together and have a big blanket of these characters. So this is what she's doing. This is the back. This is how her, her strings look on the back to show you what she's doing. And... I, so that's where she is right now. This is not finished, but she's working on it. Okay, and so here's a character. Again, I don't know who a lot of these characters are, but I know that little turtle is really cute. Okay, and so here she has on her bed, she has spread out. She's making all these squares because she's getting ready to put all those squares together to make one big, one big blanket. So here's another character here. And these, this, she sent me this to say, these are a stack of all the squares that I've been making for my um, blanket that I intend to make. Pikachu, I know who that one is. <laughs> okay, here is something she sent me and I don't know how this works, but it's a glow in the dark, a glow in the dark yarn. So I, I didn't know that existed but she did something that's glow in the dark. And then again, here again are some, um, diff another picture of her bed with the squares all over. Oh, now I, I brought this up because uh, every now and then, now this is from Courtney and I hope I'm not embarrassing you, Courtney, because we all do something and we, I felt we could all learn from this. And she said, this is a 10 stitch blanket that I made, but it won't lay flat. And so I was looking at it and she was asking for suggestions or for help. Now, whenever I get something that's like this and it won't lay flat, what I do is I put it in water. I put it in warm water so that the fibers will like loosen up. And then I, um, I, I lay it out flat and then let it dry flat. But a lot of times I've had success with things that wouldn't lay flat if I put them in water 
and then um, lay them or pin them the way that I want them to dry. For instance, if this was mine, I'd let it soak in a little bit of warm water. And then after it's really wet, I would be careful not to wring it out so that, let me see, you can't see me. I'm not on, I, th I thought I was here. I'm not even here. Okay, so then I would, I would be careful wringing it out, but I would um, let it, uh, I'd wring it in a towel to dry it. And then once it was flat, I'd pin it to a board or to my ironing board or to a board on a table so that it was flat. And usually when it dries, it'll dry flat. And what I have found is once you do that one time and it dries flat, it stays flat. From then on, you can wash it and do different things and it's, it's going to be okay. Okay. So now I'm going to go back over here and see else, see who else has joined us. Did I do all of uh, Courtney's? I think so. Yeah, that was our last thing. We were, okay. So now what do I want to do? I want to go back over here for a minute and I'm going to go like that. Okay. All right. Oh, miss. I see somebody that I haven't seen in a long time. That's why I said, oh, okay. All right. So where we're, um, okay, K, 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 K. And she said, thank you. Hey. So here's, um, Hello, first. Well, welcome, Sharon. I'm so glad that you are here. Uh, thank you for being here. I know people could. I need to find Professor Failure's podcast. Okay, I don't think Professor Failure. I don't think people in the chat can add a link, but it is just like his name. His uh, it just like you have it. If you search Professor Failure history. And I put history after that because there are some other people who call themselves Professor Failure. I'd put Professor Failure history. Uh, let us know if that's correct or try to put it, try to put the link in and see if you can. But I think I have it set so that people can't leave links, I think. But try it, Professor. But thank you very much for asking. Thank you for asking. Let's see. Um, you have never loom knitted. Okay, what kind of crafts do you do, Phyllis? Because you're la la crafts. So let us know what it is that you do. Okay, so just put down in there what, what craft it is that you do. Yes, I am Jill of all crafts, master. <laughs> well, I think there are a lot of us out there. I would have to say I'm good, but I don't know if I'm a master because sometimes I see some of the things that people create. Now here, I'm going to be very, very um, honest with you. I think that I'm, okay, here, I'm going to go ahead and just say it. I'm just going to say it. I think I'm a master teacher, but I don't have necessarily have all the techniques. But if I know the technique, I can show someone else how to do it. But there's so many things that I don't know, uh, that, that, which is why sometimes there's a lag between videos because I'm practicing myself to see, to come up to speed so that I can demonstrate some of the other techniques. In fact, uh, one of the things that I would like to do is know how to, um, Courtney does this very well. She can loom knit characters. She can loom knit dolls. And there is, um, oh, what's her name? There's another lady on YouTube that just can do amazing um, dolls, characters, almost anything you can think of she can loom knit it. Now I'm not there yet. I'm watching. But as soon as I learn something, then I think I can teach it well. But there are a lot of things that I don't know. But thank you, um, Inherited Stitches. Okay. And she says, I loom knit a ghost. You loom knitted a ghost ornament. Okay. There, there you go. But well, that's something. That's loom knitting. <laughs> Hi from wet and stormy Florida. Oh my God, we are praying for you so hard up here in New York City. You have our blessings, and I, I'm I feel positive that things are going to be well. They're going to be okay. They're going to be okay. Looming was how I found you. Yes, I had been. What happened here? Yes. So that is the. Let me go up a little taller. Can I go tall? Well, not sure. Okay. There. There you go. So yeah, loom knitting is when my channel started to grow was when I started to do the loom knitting. Welcome, Kathy. Okay. 
Yes, be safe, Kathy. We are all we are praying for you and pulling for you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. That is how I learned to loom knit by watching you. Okay. So yes. So yeah, I, I can teach it, but there's still a lot of techniques that I don't know. Um, we took the podcast channel down. Oh, you did? Hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. You're not talking about your YouTube channel. You mean the podcast channel, right? Okay. I hope we, okay. I think that, yes, yes. The things are very beautiful that the people are doing the uh, diamond painting. I dabbed in diamond painting, but it's not for me. I prefer to cross stitch all things considered. Okay. So there you go. I was just answering a comment from someone to, today and they were saying how they saw, they ran across the at one of the Afghan videos that I did, I had done using the Afghan loom. And they said, oh, I can't wait to get this. And I was, I wasn't sure what to write back because I don't like the Afghan loom anymore, you know? And I didn't want to discourage them. So I said, yes, they can be fun. But if you're new to loom knitting, I would suggest you get really used to using the round loom first. And I didn't want to tell them that I can't stand working. I don't want to, if I never saw another Afghan loom again, that would be okay with me. So we all have our preferences of things, of, of ways we like to do things and the things that we like to do. Thank you for sharing that. Let's see. Let me see if I do like this. Okay, go, go. Okay, let me see. You know what? I'm going to have to take this um, overlay off because we're missing. Okay. I answer to, hey, you. <laughs> All hunkered down and keeping things powered up just in case. This is much more calming than looking at hurricane reporting. Um, yeah, I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. Well, we're so glad that you are here today. Uh, those are so beautiful. All right, I'm, I'm thinking you're talking of the diamond painting. And here's someone that I haven't seen for a long time. You know you put that small table under the bed when done. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Hi, well, hi, Sandra. So glad to see you today. Sandra has a great sense of humor. And sometimes I don't know if she's trolling me, laughing at me, laughing with me. No, she's a lot of fun. And I like Sandra. Thank you for being here today, Sandra. Okay. Is that Bull Bazaar? Okay. I guess you're talking to Courtney. Let me see. I need to do this real quick. Are you talking to Courtney? Because I don't know um, the characters, like I said. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. So, oh, cool. So, all right. So people are really liking the shares. Why does that keep doing that? Will she be, will she put a backing on it? Okay, so um, yeah, I think so. I think, Courtney, the idea is that you want to put a backing on the blanket once you get all the characters together. Is that right? I think last month, we, last month, she talked about putting like a backing on it like a, as if it were a quilt, a quilt backing. That's what I believe, I believe. So she, she will let me know and she will let me know if that's not, okay. So will she be putting it back in? So Joanne has the glow in the dark uh, yarn. So that might be fun to, I know we're, it's time to start making holiday and Christmas presents. So that might be fun to make for a young person, something out of glow in the dark fabric. Thank you, Courtney, for letting me know that. Okay. And Apparently, I need to go on an execution to Joanne's. <laughs> Excursion to Joanne's. Yes, yes, uh, we all do. I I wish I had a Joanne's that was close to me because it seems like a fun store, but I don't have one near me. We only have Michael's here in New York City, and I don't believe that they have... Well, they have a lot of some stuff, but mm, they're missing. You're missing a lot of of good crafting things. But uh, yes, I think, and I think I should go with you. <laughs> Hello, Phil. Rolling, 
roll it in a towel land, press it to get the excess. Okay, so he's talking about the, um, thank you for that. He's talking about getting that little blanket to lay flat. He says, roll it in a towel and pat and press until you got out the excess water and then you just shape it the way you want it to be. Thank you so much, Phil. Thank you for being here. Can you make granny squares with a loom? You can. In um, fact, um, you can, you, it is possible to do that. I have not demonstrated how to do that, but I know you can. The closest we've come on this channel that I have demonstrated is I demonstrated how to make a, a loom knitted pot holder. And um, we did it by using two triangles and put two triangles together. But there is a way, and maybe I'll add that to my list of things to be working on during the break. But there is a way I have, I'm, yeah, I'm going to say yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah. It's, to me, it seems like it would be like uh, making a scarf. You, you make a scarf and you just figure out how many pegs you want to use and how many rows you need to do to make it square for the yarn that you're using. And then it seems like it should work out. And then you have, after you have all the squares, of course, you just sew them, sew them together. Okay. And so here, inherit, we're, well, um, well, not a crocheted granny square, but a knitted square. Okay. So, all right. So you want to do a loom knitted square. <laughs> yes, it is possible to knit a square on a loom. I have not, I don't have that video up yet. Okay. And then we have, um, but a knitted square, absolutely. Okay. Yes. And I would like to get back to crochet. I'm crocheting refrigerator magnets for Christmas tree presents. See how I got that? I got all of those little things. I'm good. <laughs> Yes, that's a good thing to do. You know what I'm doing? Um, I'm not loom knitting right this year. You know what I'm doing is I'm making, I'm sublimating mugs. That's what I'm doing. So I'm doing things like this for, I'm going to give everybody a mug like this or something, something with a saying on it. But uh, I, I've got my printer fixed. And so I'm able to do sublimation again. And so that's that's what I've been doing over here, up here in New York City. Okay, so, but that's great. Crocheting, that's nice. The crochet, uh, dang professor, I love to learn new things. <laughs> okay, all right, professor. Yes, the podcast channel wasn't getting as much attention as we wanted, so we took it down, but you can watch our history channel. Okay, so... What, what, so here's, so here, let me show you, let me do this. Let me do this, professor. Okay. Professor, not that <laughs> wrong, wrong card. I was looking for the card with my email. Where's my email? I don't see. Well, my email is Wambui at Wambui made it. Is this it? Okay. Wambui at Wambui made it. So professor, if you send me the link, to that, I will put it in the description in this video once when this is over. I'll if you send it to me, whenever you send it to me, I'll put it in the description because it seems like people are interested in seeing what you're doing. So if you send me the link, I'll link it under uh, this video and let everybody know that it's you. Okay, <laughs> very good. All right, so um. You mean those infinity symbol shaped looms? Yes, those the Afghan right the in, exactly it's one in the same infinity Afghan. Yes, to me they're very um. I don't enjoy working. I don't enjoy working on them. <laughs> I learned how to do the characters from someone on YouTube. Yeah, okay. Um, a lady. Okay, Rose is her name. Rose. Rose something. Yeah. Yeah. So there's somebody named Rose who does amazing, um, amazing loom knitting things. Um, and then inherited stitches. 
Uh, that's cool, Courtney. Okay. You know, my daughter keeps telling me, don't read the ones if they're not talking to you. Uh, yeah, that one Pokemon Square. Yes, but I keep reading them all. <laughs> so, okay. So, inherit. Okay, you all are having your own conversation and I'm just all up in it, aren't I? YouTube is the best to learn how to do the graph on the loom. Okay. So, but you learned from, ooh, somebody Rose. It's a real pretty name, but I can't think of it. And she has some books as well. Um, but yeah, she does a lot of the the characters and can do just about anything. If I think of, I'm going to put her link underneath this video as well. The, um, I can't call her name now, but I want to say Lila Rose or something like that. But yeah, she does amazing loom knitting things as well. Okay. And here we go. Walmart has dark and the glow yarn as well. I made a hat for my cousin who runs before dawn. Okay. So, um, yeah, we don't have a Walmart here either. We don't have anything in New York. Yeah. We don't have any of the good crafting and good go-to shopping places like Walmarts and things like that. But yeah, so the Walmart has the dark yarn, glow in the dark yarn too as well. Yeah, I think that's something though that I want to check out. Who manufactures that yarn, Heather? Okay, who manufactures, uh, do you know what company, what brand that is? Is it a brand that we know or a new brand? So thank you. And um, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm giving everybody FaceTime. I'm working on our Walmart grocery order and deciding what yarn to sneak into it. Yes. <laughs> well, food is essential and yarn can be essential, right? <laughs> yarn can be very essential. You know what? I remember early in the pandemic, pan pandemic here in New York uh, when everything was shut down, I wanted to get um, some elastic. Um, a lot of people wanted elastic to make the mask, but I wanted the elastic because what was I making? I was, oh, for the scrunchies, for the hair scrunchies. And everything was shut down. And, but there was the liquor store next to the place that had all the crafting supplies. It was full open. But the crafting store, we had to act like we were buying drugs. The person in the store would come out, stand outside the store, and then you go whisper, I want some elastic. And then they'd look around and they'd say, that's going to be $35. And then you give him the money and then he would disappear. And then he'd come back and kind of hand you the, the hand you off whatever it was. I mean, there was people standing all over the street. We didn't want to look like we were in line. So we were just standing in various spots on the street where this place that had crafting supplies was. And, but it was, it wasn't essential. So it was shut down, but the liquor store next door was open. And so we were just out there on the street, trying on the slide to get our, get our crafting goods on because to us, those crafting supplies were very essential. Okay, enough of story time. <laughs> okay, I have always wanted to make a mug with the Professor Failure logo on it. Okay, so um, if you if you send me your logo, I'll make you a mug. I'll make you one now. I'm not can't make a lot, but I'll make you one. But um, um, I would like to also get back to showing how to do sublimation so that you can not only make your own but you can make mugs for for people all over. I, I enjoy the sublimation process. Okay, um, let's see. Here's, here's Crafting Journey, Crafting and Crime Daily. Hey, hey, friend, just popped in to say hi, going out to lunch with a friend. Now, uh, before you go, unless you've already popped out, you need to know I'm sending everybody to your channel who's interested in diamond painting. In fact, I was showing... I did some screenshots from you. I hope you're still here. I don't know if you're still here. I did some, I stole some screenshots from you to show how you lay out your your things and, you know, one of the uh, uh, diamond paintings that you're working on. So if you're here, but anyway, this is, 
this is crafting journey here. So, um, yeah, she's the one that does the diamond painting. And also if you're here, if you're still here, Rebecca, um, can you not only, um, can you tell us whether or not I, in my head, somehow remember you being an affiliate with a diamond painting company. So if that's true, let me know what that is so that I can give people that link as well. Okay, thank you, Crafting Journey. Okay, you will do that. Great, great, great. Okay, I made your scribbles, made your scribbles last year. I added Mrs. Meyer's dish soap. Oh, scrubbies. <laughs> Sorry, and hand soap. Everyone loved them. That is a that is a really good present to give the people. These scrubbies, and if you do a washcloth and a scrubby and kind of just put a bow on them, but you did great. You add the Myers dish soap. Mm, well, that's a great present. I know everyone enjoyed that. I find Infinity Looms kind of fussy. Yes, I have a hard time with them as well. And then there are those who just love them. I made your disc scrubbies last year. Uh, they were a hit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I figured out what you meant. Yes. Uh, Scarlet Royal. Scarlet Royal. Scarlet Royal is on YouTube. And um, if you search Scarlet Royal, she's the woman that does this amazing she can do anything with loom knitting. She can make anything with loom. She even makes sweaters and things like that, clothing, and um, with loom knitting that look really beautiful. Okay, so yeah, Scarlet Royale, if you search that. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you, Courtney. Okay, you can always order it online. I think it's Red Heart. Okay, she's talking about the uh, glow in the dark, Red Heart. Okay. And then I feel like um, my camera is lagging, but we're going to keep going. We're almost. Uh, thanks, Heather. You're adorable and such an inspiration. I went online looking for uh, other black crafters, and I'm so happy I found you. Well, I'm happy you found me, too, and I'm glad I happen to be black. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Kadi. Kadi, thank you. Okay. All right. Oh, that's so sweet, Miss Wumble. Yes, okay. Um, I remember Scarlet Royal. She's OG. See, I don't know the you young people know all these OG things, but I'm I'm taking that means that she's great because she is. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> OG, okay. She's OG. Okay. And Lama 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 Mama Kala is the best on YouTube. Okay, so I'm, I'm not familiar with this person, but take notes. Uh, Courtney is saying Lama Mama Kayla is the best on YouTube. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to look her up myself. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, and I'm so glad that you're here. Okay, so that is... Um, uh, what we have for today. Again, I don't like to make the videos too long because who likes to come back and watch a really long video? Okay. <laughs> OG, original gangster. <laughs> okay. All right. I should have known that. I live in New York City, right? I live in New York City. I should know that. Origi OG, original gangster. Okay. I love it. I love it. Okay. If, unless you have any other questions or specific that anything specific you'd like to share, I'm going to, um, come to the end. I'm going to say that we're done for today. And I am announcing that, look, I froze, didn't I? Fro I froze. I'm frozen. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm frozen. So I'm going to say goodbye and let's see. Well, have a great time, Ms. Wumbui. I'll send you a link to my channel. I hope you have a... Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm freezing. <laughs> so I'm going to say goodbye to all of you. I won't have another live until the last Wednesday in January. Okay. Love you all. Peace. Okay. Then. Okay, uh, we're all going. We're going to go. We're all going to go have a beautiful 
wonderful, joy and peace filled afternoon. Okay. And with that said, I'm going to say, you're welcome, Kathy. <laughs>